I think the, like the Rolex. All right, hello and welcome to my new workshop, which is huge. And this has nothing to do with my weird camera. So now for the first time, I have a dedicated space to make my guitars. And now I will really make or hope to make the best finishes I possibly can. So what's new is a workbench, obviously, then a drill press with a new drill that has the speed dial on the front. This will also serve as the new buffing station. I got two buffing wheels, a soft one and a hard one, and two fitting polishing compounds. Then a shelf with my power tools like my router, but also new is a scroll saw. I want to make some pick arts out of wood and that will help with that. Over here is a shelf for all kinds of paints and supplies, sandpaper, but also pigments. Why pigments? Well, because the biggest improvement that will make my life so much easier is I now have a compressor. So I can use spray guns, mix my own paint, and use professional clear coats, stuff like that. Also over here is a new spraying booth, which I built out of scrap wood, and it has two construction fans, explosion proof. Those will suck all the overspray through a filter, and both fans have a duct like this to lead the air outside where no people are. So this is kind of like an airbrush spray booth, only larger, so you can hang up a whole guitar. Then, um, Let's start our first project, which is my old skiing helmet. I want to do a flake finish and we will use my dry flake gun, a uh, flaking mini. So let's go. So first I was spraying a plastic primer and then a black base coat. Now I'm mixing the surface binder, which is like a glue for the flakes. And this is already the first issue I've ran into. So the surface binder is a rather thick substance and I did use the thinner, but not much came out of the gun. Also, I couldn't tell if anything came out because the helmet was so glossy. So I tried to spray some flakes, but they would just bounce off. So what I ended up doing was to apply the surface binder with a brush and now the flakes would stick to the helmet easily. Of course, spraying the surface binder would have been a lot better. I guess I need to use a larger needle size next time. So that's the dry flake gun and I'm spraying holographic flakes. And here I'm pretending to know what I'm doing. I'm adjusting the air pressure at the gun and I'm getting ready to spray filler clear coat, which is a thick type of clear coat, which makes it much easier to build up a solid layer of clear because we'll need to level sand it later and especially the flakes make a very uneven surface. So uh, <laughs> you will need a lot of clear. I was spraying two coats and I let it cure for 24 hours. Here I'm doing some scuff sanding before spraying the next three layers. And then I moved on to the level sanding. Since the helmet is a rounded surface, I'm using a sanding sponge. And as expected, trying to level sand over those flakes turned out to be quite the effort. And yeah, I've made the mistake to move on too quickly. It wasn't really fully level yet, or maybe I should have sprayed some extra coats of filler clear. But it's only my old skiing helmet and not a guitar, so, so it's okay. Also spraying the clear filler really taught me how to properly clean the spray gun because this stuff would really clog up your gun. So it's best to always just mix a small amount and then spray it all in one session. Okay, and here I'm spraying two coats of top coat. So the top coat turns into a really hard surface, very durable. Good for polishing it up to a high gloss. And then I moved on to polishing. First I'm using the stiffer wheel with the cutting compound. And I need to make sure to always keep the helmet moving, otherwise the friction might melt the clear coat off. Then I remove the residue of the cutting compound. There's a special spray for that. Then I moved on to the softer wheel with the polishing compound. And finally, I sprayed on some wax, which is a product for cars, but it works on the helmet as well. And here it is, that's the helmet. Um, yeah, some of the issues, as explained, brushing on the surface binder is not as good as spraying it. 
So in the future, when I will do a flake finish on a guitar, I will have that figured out. The click coat is glossy, but there's lots of unevenness. Also, from brushing on the surface binder, there were some uh, whitish, some milky spots, which isn't ideal. But I guess it's okay for our first attempt. And on the side, I was also clear coating this foot switch, which has those greenish flakes like on my Flexwood build, which I still need to complete, but it will finally happen this year. Well, gotta start somewhere. Tune in next time for a project with less mistakes.